because you about to be an ATL. -L -E -L -E -L. Now, um, what's next on the agenda? Oh, let's talk about Lanifia, my favorite topic, Lanifia Monique Leaks, okay? Everybody is talking about Nene and this uh, lawsuit. I told y'all she was winning. I felt like she, in my spirit, and in my soul, she is winning because they are trying to uh, dictate <clears throat> where they want to uh, talk about it, where they want to do the mediation. They don't want to do it in Georgia. They want to move move it to New York for arbitration, which is uh, kind of what they did to um, Mariah Huck, but that's a whole other story. Look, before Mariah could even file her lawsuit, they, they went ahead and did arbitration. They made her happy, so she shut up, went on about her business. But see, they waited too long when Nene, Nene was fed up. She filed a lawsuit. And now they like, what are we going to do? Now they trying to move it from Georgia to New York because, you know, all they lawyers, you know, it's NBC Universal. They are a huge, a huge organization. OK, and they got their own people, they lawyers, they can't, they hold legal team up there. They want to, they want it in New York. They don't want to have to hire attorneys in Georgia. But Nene is like adamant. She don't want to move from Georgia. She want to keep it in Georgia. She feels safer in Georgia. And this is all allegedly. I'm just, I'm just thinking about it as I go. But she's going to get paid because they want to talk about it. They're not dismissing it. They're trying to figure out what's going to happen. Now, now, now they want to change a venue. Thank you so much. Not two, two, three. Y'all smart. Y'all know I'm sure some lawyers in here. I'm not a lawyer, but you know, I pretend to be one sometimes. But um, yeah, so she's winning. Now, the, the gag is I I feel like you know, Andy is in his feelings because Andy had Cynthia Bailey on the show the other day now. And uh Cynthia Bailey, I as y'all know, you know, she got her peach taken away from her. And they tried to offer her a friend role and she wouldn't take it. She felt like it was a slap in the face. She was like, I've been on there 10 years. I'm not coming back. It's no dang friend. But you remember Cynthia was a part of the alliance with Candy and Kenya. They was all in an alliance to kick Nene off. And Cynthia got kicked off. Now she's sitting over there looking stupid. She done got married to Mike Hill, don't know what to do. But I'm digressing, okay? Cynthia went on Watch What Happens Live. I don't know why. I don't know why she's not on the show no more, right? So, but um, Andy took the opportunity to drag Nene, okay? Hold on, we're going to listen to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This little clip right here, let me put it. You know, I got to put my disclaimer for this because this is a uh, Bravo and they might be acting funny, honey. So y'all read along with me. I've tried to put it up uh, earlier, but it's disclaimer, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for the purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching scholarship, and research. What are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? We are... Okay, we are... <laughs> Okay, we are these people. So um shout out to the twit twitters. Okay, shout out to it's who is it? It's truth bitch over on the Twitters beginning in, honey. It's truth bitch said, was Andy shading Nene leaks through Cynthia Bailey? Gratitude class act was Cynthia before ATL, baby. Not even Cynthia's own mother tuned into RHOA just for her. Ooh, the reads, honey. Meanwhile, Nene had millions of people tuned into the Real Housewives through her internet memes and videos. So check that. So um, here is what Andy said to uh, Cynthia Bailey that got all the girls' panties in a bunch. And it was Let me tell you something. She like, is a class good. freaking act. She is. She has gratitude. And by the way, Cynthia was Cynthia before she ever came on Atlanta, and yes. she will be Cynthia after Atlanta. Come on. And it's true. Yes. yes. So check that out. Yeah. And, um, it's good. It's, it's it's like, why, why would he need to say Cynthia was Cynthia before Atlanta, and she would be Cynthia after Atlanta? Check that. Okay, hold on. Let's see. He said some more. True. It's true. It, She's it always so had her true. own thing going, but she also lives in gratitude and when it was time to leave the show she was do the I live first in gratitude? one to say do you 
I don't know. We're so it's a, it's a work me? in progress. What did, I, what did I say before the show? I said you've given me two careers, and because yes, of that, I love yes. you and I'm grateful yes. for exactly. you. Exactly. No, so you don't are. don't say yes, that I don't. No, I know. No, I'm being you're... playful. Absolutely. Being playful. Okay, but yes, yes. No, you do live in gratitude. Right. Yes, I do, yes. and I I kill for yes, you. Yes, exactly. we're. And let me tell you something. So he said that Cynthia left gracefully, honey, and she lives in gratitude. So the girls are reading him on Twitter. I don't know if y'all caught that shade or not, but the girls called it. Okay, shout out to Radiance. <clears throat> Radiance is a squad number two. If you in here, Radiance, look, I'd live for your tweets, honey. Radiance said typical white savior behavior. Hold on. Let me make it big so y'all can read it with me. Typical white savior speak. Be grateful for the crumbs they throw while they make millions off the work and often exploitation of us. And we get it. Cynthia is the good house Negro. So you give her the high five, a job here and there to prove how good of a boss you were. Ooh, the shade. Listen, Andy is clearly in his feelings because he know Nene about to get this change, honey. Nene about to get this money. So why would you even throw shade at somebody subliminal? subliminally and she is no longer on the network he is in his feelings and there's a lot going on behind the scenes so the people have been calling andy out left and right somebody sent me another uh screenshot of something where andy uh was saying that he was the reason like other other housewives need to be thankful for their career uh for him so he he pretty much just said the same thing to Cynthia and he said the same thing to Jeff and Jeff actually, you know, from my understanding, he left kicking and screaming, but I don't know. I don't watch all that stuff, but this is just what the streets be saying. He said, I didn't know Cynthia was by name before our, our HOA knew who Nene was though. Okay. Uh, wow. Caught that. Oh, really now? Oh, none threatening Cynthia. Okay. Cynthia left with grace, honey. And she was filled with gratitude. Ooh child listen that's why i didn't watch the housewives tonight honey they ain't gonna get my click and my view when i watch the ratings on tuesday <laughs> but i'm digressing okay what y'all think about that okay now um another thing that nini has been talking about is this tell-all book everybody is really in their feelings like what is gonna be told and i'm like please wait till you get your millions before you tell it all because don't tell it all before we go to court okay but uh nini uh, was on uh, Twitter and she said, look, hold on, I'm going to pull up this tweet, honey. Everybody was going crazy over this tweet. The book I have been writing for the past year is going to be a must read. Here's what she said. It is going to be a must read. I just can't wait to share it. Now, you know, she been writing, honey. She been writing. And look, she got all the receipts. She got all the text messages. She got all the emails. She got everything. She probably got voicemail messages and everything too. She got all the receipts. And one thing I know for sure about Nene Leaks is she got a memory on her that just won't quit. So I am looking forward to this tell all and she, I hope she tell it. Uh, DT said Andy Koken is indeed in his feelings and plastic bad ungrateful down there cream washing mic was bolo belly oh lord it was so ditzy to not realize it right she's being used as a pun in this dirty dirty game okay in this dirty dirty game you said ain't nothing like a good old receipt okay keep them all that's why i'll never delete no text messages i got receipts too in my phone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anywho like I always say, it's not about what I tell, it's what I don't tell. Um, moving on. No. Now